What is up everybody? Andrew with NQS Performance Outdoors. We got kind of a fun video for you today. It wasn't originally how I had planned for this whole thing to go down. I had shot uh, what I thought was a good intro on the way to the lake uh, to break in the new Alumacraft and when I went through the footage of the intro there was so much sun blasting through the window of my truck. It was it was ridiculous you guys I, I can't even begin to explain how terrible it looked i'm obviously not a professional youtuber i'm doing everything with a gopro so the intro didn't turn out the way it wanted to i did manage to lose some of the footage from out there on the water but the bottom line is we got the yamaha one hour break-in process done we got the gps uh coordinated for the minkota trova I wanted to show you guys all of that, but I think what I'm going to end up doing is a separate video later on when the water's a little calmer, and now that I know exactly what I'm looking for, I feel like I can make you guys a better tutorial on setting up your Tarova if you're brand new to it. So I want to get that video put out there uh, later this spring when the weather's a little bit better. But I also wanted to share my first ride in the Alumacraft with you guys because we had a lot of fun. Like I said, we got the one-hour break-in done, and then we were able to put that boat to the test on some rougher water and everything. Uh, so... Stay tuned, I'll show you guys some of the highlights, maybe some of the lowlights. Uh, I had Polly Wog in the boat with me. Sometimes when me and Polly get together, the uh, language gets to be a little bit rough, so I'm trying to comb through footage and uh, eliminate the swear words for you guys, keep this thing PG, and let you guys see this boat in action. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video. If you do, smash that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell button so you get notified when we upload new videos, and we will see you guys on the water. I think so, man. You might have to come stand back here. So we got to do an hour at 2,000 hours. Go for a little joy ride. What's, what are we at? This, at is, two, two this is about 2,000 right here. Oh my goodness. This creeping. So I brought uh, this, that, that folding one. That I put some nice pike in there, so. This is going to start a little There's timer. There's some awesome pumps right off of uh, Cedar Point on, over there in like 35 feet of water that if you have Navionics it'll put you right on top of them. My Navionics don't work anymore. Why? They, they asked me to renew it finally and then I did. I oh you know why? It's not Navionics anymore you got to change the app it's called Boat US. Yeah, I see. You'll have to download the new app I bet you. Alright, it's gonna be a long, painful hour, isn't it? Maybe we'll get a little of this part on film. What's that? So we'll get a little bit of this part on the video. <laughs> Polywog taps. <laughs> In. Time to let this thing eat a little bit. Ready? Nice knowing you, man. Too bad that place is so small. <laughs> the best you can do.
different going this way. Yeah. I just don't want to get into a... Oh, God. You know, like a funky... A funky bounce. She's like going into them better. <laughs> A little drier. Look the size of some of those. That was a good one. <laughs> right there, you see that yeah. roller? Ooh, look at that. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Well, we didn't quite get airborne. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> I love it. Oh. Isn't Williams Bay more over that way? I don't know, man. I'm just fucking... I'm just riding... Like, way over there. I feel her pain. <laughs> I'm not even, like... The least bit bothered by this. I also probably have better sense because I know that I'm in control of the boat too. You know what I mean? True that. Well, you got a lot more time on uh, on the water in regular boats. I mean, I'm pretty much. Uh, I mean, you know how I am in a canoe. Yeah. And people are freaking out. Like Trevor and I, Trevor, trust me, he's been in the canoe enough. So when we're on the Kickapoo River, all you hear is this roar, right? It's a freaking uh, waterfall. And we, I told Monica about it. You get up to it, and you, you got to do it just right. You know, and shoot that thing. Otherwise, you're going to go in a little crooked. Yeah. Lock your canoe and lose all your gear. Most people would have been shitting themselves in a... You know, and I did that solo. The first time I ever did it, I was solo paddling that canoe down the river. Went right over it. But yeah, this is, uh, this is pretty exciting. Nice experience. This is why I bought a boat like this, so I knew I could take water on like this. Ooh, yeah, that was a good one. I knew that one was coming too, I saw it. Yeah, well, I'm a little less, uh, at this speed, I'm a little, you know, more easy going. Once we start getting faster and then uh, we get past, past that point, I'm not so comfortable. Granted, the season right now is what, January something, so. Yeah. Not exactly water I want to be in. No. We're going to have to bust out that uh, Navionics again. That when place. We get around this corner, we should slow it way up and figure out where those uh, humps are. Yeah. I'm with you. Right out about in here is where Swanee caught that big smolly that day just on a slip bobber rig. We were barely around the bend when that thing bit. Yeah, this is Button's Bay back in here. There's a nice ledge. And then the boulder pile kind of comes out from here. And it's like a landslide in the deeper water. <laughs> 